so we are back again with the tech roundup and this time we are doing the best TWS earphones that are available under 5000 rupees. Hey guys, I'm your host for today, Omarto. You're watching C4E Tech. And if you do enjoy this video, then please consider subscribing as well as hitting that bell icon so that you can get to be a part of our notification squad. Starting off at the very low end, we have the Truekey Fit 1. Now, I went in with pretty low expectations since this is an ultra budget option, a pair of truly wireless earbuds that cost just 799 rupees. And the sound signature here, it's very bass heavy. I could tell the thump in my ears and what's more, the bass is clean. In fact, no matter the mids or highs, everything sounds very clean. The treble isn't extended and the mids are pretty recessed, which can still translate into a very fun listening experience, especially if you listen to stuff like Bollywood, rock, hip hop and the like. Now, as far as connectivity goes, we have Bluetooth 5.0 on board and they're pretty lightweight thanks to the all plastic build. And even with the case, the weight is just at around 41 grams. But the build here, it doesn't inspire much confidence. No word about the latency though. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone who plays competitive shooters on mobile. As far as the controls, they're just fine. We have the regular pause, play, and tap. We can skip tracks and even call on Google Assistant. Coming down to battery life, they can last up to three hours with 80% volume. And the company promises 12 hours of battery life with the case. Yeah, the case, it just feels super cheap. Comes with a micro USB charging port and a 300 milliamp hour battery included inside. Overall though, looks and build quality aside, they sound pretty good and I'm sure a casual listener would be quite happy with these. Moving up a rung, we have the Redmi Earbuds S. Now, from a purely sound perspective, they are way better than the Realme Buds Q. So if it comes to a toss up between these, I'd prefer spending my 1499 rupees on the Redmi's. They are bass heavy and have a V-shaped sound signature. So yes, the lows are more pronounced and the mids are recessed. The range isn't the greatest, but that isn't noticeable if you are watching a movie or maybe playing a game. Also, speaking of games, we have a dedicated gaming mode and it does a decent job with a reported latency of around 144 milliseconds. Coming to the cons, the controls here aren't the best. The big problem being we can't really change them via an app. On the battery side of things, we get 15 hours including the case. So while not the most impressive, it's pretty good, especially since the case is so small and light. In fact, comfort is one of the pros of this headset and we wore it for long hours without any fatigue. Bluetooth 5.0 ensures good range, but the mics here, they aren't the best. So if you're looking for a pair of TWS that's great with phone calls, then the next one in the list is for you. So, once we step into the 3000 rupee range, that's where the Enco W31s step in. Amazingly balanced in the normal mode, with a nice emphasized bass in the bass boost mode. These are so good that the last time we did a roundup of the best sounding budget Bluetooth earphones, we put these at the very top, right with the Enco M31. Those though are the neckband style ones. However, since then, they have dropped in price and not in quality. And for 2,999 rupees, these are an excellent buy. No matter if you love Bollywood or you love EDM, the 7mm drivers on the Enco W31 manages to make every song come alive. We even got support for the AAC codec. Coming to the controls, we can double tap on the right ear to skip tracks, double tapping the left ear switches between the normal and bass mode, and finally we can summon Google Assistant by triple tapping on them. We also have a wire detection on board, which performs pretty well. There's no dedicated game mode on the W31, but at around 94 milliseconds, the latency here is pretty low to begin with. Taking a look at the battery life, it's around the 3 hour mark on a single charge. And with the 350mAh battery inside the case, we're looking at around 15 hours. The case is shaped a little weird, which makes it difficult to open with one hand. But overall, the lightweight and nice in-air fit means that the W31 is an incredibly comfortable option for long calls or hours of music listening. Speaking of calls, the dual mic system included in the W31 works great for phone calls as well. The next one in our list is for the bass lovers out there. The Noise Shots X5 Pro come with a heavily boosted bass that gives you the thumb, but not much else. The mids here are subdued and the highs are rolled off. Basically, if you're someone who only loves bass and doesn't care much about instrument separation or the highs and mids, well then pick up the Noise Shots X5 Pro. 
Now we do have support for Qualcomm ABTX, not something we usually see in TWS in this price range. There's 6mm graphene drivers here inside the headsets and they come with Bluetooth 5.0 on board. So once more, the range is pretty good. As far as the touch controls go, they can do pretty much everything from changing tracks to volume to summoning our AI assistant and taking or ending calls. And the touch response, it's pretty quick as well. Where these do stand out though is their battery life. In my tests, it lasted more than 6 hours on 80% volume and the massive case contains a 2000 mAh battery which the company claims can give a total battery life of up to 150 hours. And there's even a regular sized USB port included in there so that we can use it in a pinch as a power bank to juice up our phone. We also get a Type-C port to charge up the case. Once again, not something we regularly see in the budget TWS options. Now personally, I wouldn't carry such a big case around because I take my TWS in my pocket. But if you're the sort who carries the TWS in a bag or a backpack of some sort, then the added battery capacity here, it might be a great boon. And finally, for the under 5000 rupee range, we have the Oppo Enco W51. For 4,999 rupees, it's an easy pick. Once more, the balance, slightly warm sound signature, it's on point. The mids are excellent and the treble extension is even better than the W31. Overall, I love the instrument separation and range on display here. It does miss out on the punchy bass though since we don't get a dedicated bass mode. Instead, what we get here is ANC or active noise cancellation. Now I'm not gonna pretend like the ANC here is great. It's nowhere near the Apple AirPods Pro. But it does manage to block out constant noises like say the fan noise, AC noise, engine noise, you know, stuff like that. That plus the three onboard mics on each earbud leads to excellent voice calls. In fact, for both music as well as calls, the Oppos are the best of the bunch. In our testing, we found them to last around 3 hours with ANC on and 80% volume. As for the case, the company claims 20 hours with ANC on and an extra 4 hours with it off. Like the others on this list, it also comes with support for Bluetooth 5.0 on board and the range here is excellent. On the charging side of things, we have support for fast charging on board which means that we can get around 9 hours of playback from just 15 minutes of charging via the Type-C port. And what's more, we even have support for wireless Qi charging. The case is a little big and unwieldy since the entire thing weighs over 50 grams but I can still manage to slip it into a pocket unlike the noise ones. So three things about the TWS that I have mentioned here in this video. Number one, they come with some sort of sweat protection. So if you're out gymming or running or anything of that sort, they should survive that without any problems. Number two, they all come with Bluetooth 5.0 on board. So that means that the connection should be great. You shouldn't face any random disconnects or anything of that sort. Number three, I prefer in-ears since they offer better sound isolation and they form a nice seal around the ear. So all the TWS mentioned in this video are of that design. If you, however, prefer a different design, then here are a few other options that sound decent and doesn't break the bank either. The Realme Buds Air. The original Buds Air come with a ton of functions, including wireless charging are very small and lightweight and look exactly like AirPods. The sound quality is quite decent as well, which means if you like the form factor, at 4000 rupees, they can be a decent option. At the same price, we also get the Meet True Wireless earphones too. These are unique in the way that they come with absolutely massive 14.2mm drivers and the sound signature from them is pretty balanced. However, these are not in-ears and when I wear them, I feel like the seal isn't good enough which is why I can never properly feel the thump of the bass. However, if you're someone who enjoys the fit of the Mi TWS 2, then they can be great for calls as well as music. Same goes for the OnePlus Buds as well. I personally am not a fan of how they sound and I think they are quite limiting if you don't own a OnePlus device. But some people who are already invested in the ecosystem might like them. And finally, two other options. The Jabra L865T at 4000 rupees and the JBL C100 TWS. I haven't tried them out since we don't really have them here at the office, but once more, if the fit is to your liking, then these can be really good options at the under 5000 rupee price range. 
Anyway, guys, time here I end this video. Of course, this is in no way an extensive list. Since I just compiled it using all the TWS earphones under 5K that we have here at the C4 Edex Studio. So if we did miss out on any hidden gems in the TWS world, then do let me know in the comments below. Also, if any of these have caught your eye, then we have left direct buy links in the description below. Do check them out. As always, like, share, subscribe and oh, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching till the end guys. Have a good one. Cheers.